Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Azure Virtual Network Peering. So basically, um, I'm gonna use this diagram as you can see. Um, and this is the scenario we have. I'm going to demonstrate how you can implement VNet peering in Azure. So, first of all, let's understand what does virtual network peering is all about. What does it mean? Um, <clears throat> as you may know, when we have two virtual network, by default, resources are residing inside those two different virtual network are not able to communicate between them. For example, in this case, we have two virtual network, VNet1 and VNet2. Inside VNet1, we have a subnet 1 in which resides a virtual machine, VM1. And in the other end, we have virtual network vnet2 uh, that contains the subnet subnet2 and uh, in which we have a virtual machine vm2 so by default vm1 and vm2 are not able to communicate between them and that's where vnet peering comes into the picture it enables us to um, connect vnet1 to vnet2 and allowing the connection between vm1 and vm2 so what are we going to do in this video i'm gonna create reproduce uh, this diagram so in azure portal we're gonna create uh, these resources uh, the two virtual network the subnets and then the virtual machine uh, inside the subnet those subnets then we're gonna test first of all to see that okay these two virtual machine cannot communicate and then i will show you uh, the implementation how you can implement the vnet peering and then we gonna check test again to see that after the connection is set then uh, vm1 and vm2 can then um, communicate so the purpose is then to to have a bigger virtual network so those two virtual network vnet1 and vnet2 will then behave we need act as one as one big virtual network all right so um in short vnet peering is just a a type of connection between two or more virtual network in asia of course there is a uh, other type of um, connection between virtual networks uh, but in this video we will be focusing on vnet peering and um, in the next video for example uh, i will show you another type of uh, uh, connection between virtual network which is for example uh, vnet to vnet connection all right so if you want more details about uh, uh, virtual network peering, so I'm going to put this link uh, uh, on the description below so you can see um, more details about uh, this concept or this type of connection. Okay. Um, in case, for example, the I'm here. In case, for example, VNet1 and VNet2. Uh, resides in the same virtual in the same region so we talk about uh, virtual 
uh, network peering or local vnet peering but if for example vnet1 and vnet2 are located in two different virtual uh, in two different uh, regions then we're gonna talk about uh, a global vnet peering okay but uh, in um, either case we have exactly the same steps the same implementation and the same goals all right so in this uh demo just we we're gonna just use the local uh vnet peering or simply the vnet vnet peering all right so let's go then to azure portal to see how we can implement this one okay uh for the sake of time i have already created a uh, uh, these resources just to save some time as you can see we have a virtual uh, uh, two windows virtual machine and they take some time to to get deployed so that's why uh, i'm just going to save you some time all right um yeah so i already created a vnet those virtual network also the subnets and uh, I have created two virtual machine. Okay, um, we can see, for example, here in the virtual network, we have those two virtual network. We have VNet1 and VNet2. In VNet1, we can check here subnet. Okay, virtual network one contains the subnet one and this is the address uh, space all right and uh, we also have vnet2 that contains subnet2 and this is the uh, ip address space okay v v v v vm1 let's check vm1 um this is the the ip the public ip and we this is the private ip so uh here we already have this is the ip of vm1 and we can check uh, is the same ip like uh, here you can see this is the same IP and for the VM2 this is the public IP and we have the same like here okay now we're gonna first of all check that okay these two virtual um, machine cannot communicate okay first of all as they are windows virtual machine i'm going i'm going to show you something uh, be, by default there is a the a firewall that is activated and uh, cannot allow uh, um, those two virtual machine to to ping each other so i'm going first of all to uh, to disable the firewall all right so let's go to control panel uh system and security windows defender firewall okay and here turn windows defender firewall on and or off so we can turn off and also here great all right and then we can And check here uh, IP config uh, all right IP config
Okay. So um, this is the private IP, and we can also check the host name just to confirm that we we do have VM one. Okay. Let's do the same thing here. Um, Okay, host name, we have VM2, IP config. Okay, so this is the private IP for this uh, virtual network, uh, for, for this v VM. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. So let's go to control panel, uh, security, Windows firewall, turn off, and here, done okay now let's try to ping if we come back here ping uh, no we say ping and here what is the address we have 10 20 1 4 okay 10 20 1 4 So we can see that uh, the request is timeout, no uh, no answer, so there is no communication. He can't reach VM2, and from VM2, we can also ping 10.10, uh, 10 .1 as you can see here, this is the private IP of vm1 okay then we will have also the same thing vm2 cannot reach vm1 so request time out so it means that um, yeah he cannot reach vm1 there is no communication at all okay <laughs> Now what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do the same thing here and just uh, tap uh, dash T to ping continuously um, without stopping and uh, of course it will, we will have a request time out and uh, until the communication is uh, set then we can have those two machines communicating okay as you can see so far we just have a request timeout so it means that uh, um, by default those two vm cannot communicate then let's now implement the vnet peering and let's see what will happen later okay go back to uh, Azure portal we have our vnet let's go to vnet one and as you can see here we have a peering go to peering okay uh, we're gonna add okay um here you can see uh we have um this peering vnet1 to vnet2 so from uh, vm1 to vm2 and also we should also have in the opposite um direction so from vnet2 to vnet1 okay 
that's what we're going to configure so here let's say we have v net one two v net two okay allow v net one to access the peer virtual network that's what we want okay allow um v net one to receive forwarded traffic from the peer virtual uh network so in our case we don't really need it but yeah uh depending on uh, the situation you have you might be um i you might uh, activate or you must tick this um, to allow for example when you say uh forwarded traffic it means the traffic that are not generated by vm2 uh, but the traffic are generated maybe by another server uh, and uh, uh, VM2 can just uh, forward but in, in our case we don't really need it so we just want direct communication between the two VM okay and uh, for the second link so this is the the opposite uh, direction so I will just copy here and change let's put this here and here we have one and here two so from vm2 to vm1 um here uh we're gonna choose the because here we are inside v net one so we choose the we choose vm2 because we want to um connect vm2 vm1 to vm2 okay and here also then we allow vm2 to access vm1 uh, same thing like we did here and uh, yeah that's all we can add it as you can see we have created here we will be creating two the two two peering so in um, both directions from vm1 to vm2 and also from vm2 to vm1 okay uh, so far uh, as you can see we we still have time out so uh, there is no uh, communication at all as you can see okay and um, let now check to see what will happen after setting the the peering connection add okay as you can see both of them are added and let's check what do we have do we still have uh we have some let's wait some time uh, uh we can come here so as you can see here we have this um this peering vnet to vnet vnet one to vnet two updating <coughs> so when there will be con connection we should have here connected normally so it's updating and let's check uh, uh, on the v vnet two signed okay vnet two to vm one it's connected okay uh, it should be also maybe the same thing here refresh connected okay now let's check what do we have here um uh, let me okay okay you see now we have and here also okay now we have uh, the connection so here it's from vm2 to vm1 and in this side we have from vm1 to vm2 so now we see that we have the connection okay we have the connection between those two vm so basically um this is what i wanted to show you um how to implement 
uh, V-dead pairing. So as you see, um, it's just a, a connection between these two virtual network. And by default, there is no communication at all. Resources in VM2 cannot communicate with the resources in VM1. But after implementing this um, uh, peering connection, then the two virtual networks act uh, like one big virtual network uh, in a sense that the resources can now communicate each other. So thank you for, for watching and um, yeah, like the video if uh, you, you, you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.